So this is Chippy with the uh, Toshiba AC100 here and it's uh, time to show you a few apps that I've been side loading onto the device. Uh, those of you that have followed the AC100 I did an unboxing video uh, it's running Android 2.1 um, uh, seems to be working okay everything's uh, is pretty good except for standby battery life. It seems to have some sort of bug at the moment. It's not working too well. So anyway, I just want to show you a few apps that I've side loaded because this doesn't have Google Market. Uh, so I've taken some apps off my smartphone and um, side loaded them. I'm using a mouse here that plugs into the side. Works pretty well, and the middle mouse button works as well. So let's go through a few apps. Um, I think one of the most important ones is probably uh, the productivity apps because when you look at a device like this that looks like a PC you expect to have some sort of productivity apps installed so we've got uh, documents to go it's a basic version here uh, tri trial version I guess um, but it works to view current documents and to edit cu current documents so a couple of files here that I've got on SD card here's a dot doc um, and uh, it actually works pretty well um, that's edited that file. Let's go back. I've got a spreadsheet. Uh, not all formats are um, supported, but um, if you've got, uh, say, Excel 97 format, then you should be okay. This is some edits I've done earlier, and um, actually, it's, it's pretty quick. I'm quite impressed. What I would really like to do is to uh, have some sort of publishing capability from this application especially into blogging platforms but um, maybe that's in the full version I need to do some more testing with it but actually for editing basic documents really not too bad here's a PDF uh, uh, not PDF it's a um, PowerPoint uh, viewer and again this is actually uh, pretty usable pretty fast um, on a lot of smartphones PDF viewers uh, are slow but uh, on this one you can even actually do some some editing um, which is pretty interesting um, okay that's a basic uh, PowerPoint file let's go to a PDF and PDFs are pretty quick on this I'm actually pretty impressed um, I think we can do zoom on that to get it on fit to width here you go and you know really pretty swift to, to actually scroll through the device I'm not sure if it's supporting um, oh, double click allows you to zoom which is nice also the zoom buttons down there work um, we can go to page ah ok <laughs> that's not in the uh, basic version alright so PDF viewing is working so that's uh, documents to go basic version let's uh, let's try something completely different now and this is a game Raging Thunder uh, the polar bit apps do actually work on this but a lot of games don't work I'm using the um, cursor controls here and I have to say maybe on this Tegra 2 device the speed <laughs> it seems to be like double what it should be because it's uh, really difficult to control um, but the graphics are pretty good and it's a pretty enjoyable game I am thinking of actually getting this one. Then, if the mouse works, the control? No, only the uh, cursor buttons. <laughs> I got a feeling this la it, this is working like twice as fast as it should be. Uh, okay. Um, all right. Let's try something else. Uh, News Rob. This is an offline. Google Docs reader that I use and, um, and this is uh, pretty interesting because uh, uh, of course viewing docs on a big screen allows you much more viewing space uh, allows you to scan documents pretty easily so this is basically RSS feeds let's go back let's tr take another one and uh, so for offline stuff really quite nice uh, pictures are being synchronized and um, it syncs with Google Reader so everything that I have on Google Reader is, is here you can set up different types of um, yeah different numbers of, of articles to synchronize and hold offline 
um, whether to choose whether to, to synchronize the pictures etc that's pretty good news Rob um, Astro is file manager there's a file manager included on this but uh, I prefer um, this application it's just easier also it, there's a version that allows you to do network access um, so I could actually view my um, SMB shares if I had the SMB module installed so that's a pretty useful app um, that's working nicely uh, on the AC100 uh, oh, let's try another game come on polar bit again this is wave rider light and sorry wave blazer and uh, let's uh, start this game here you don't need the mouse for it you can just use the keys And we're off. There we go. Audio is working. Speakers on this device aren't too bad, actually. One or two like lockups of the application. Not 100% smooth, but I think that's similar to this. There you go. You saw it there similar to the sort of experience you're going to get on a phone if you get everything running in the background as well all right let's uh <laughs> let's abandon that for embarrass myself all right going back to the home screen um some more apps now uh you need to know that there's no gps or location services in this device so a lot of the apps that require that module within Android to be active are uh, failing to install, and that includes a lot of Twitter applications. And Seismic uh, didn't install for me. I think it's possible to hack it in. Um, but Twitter works, and as you can see, loads of screen space here for choosing, for, for viewing your tweets. And um, this is an interesting application because with the device off, um, you can get it, sorry, the device in standby. This will run for maybe eight to ten hours um, and uh, be a, quite a nice little background uh, Twitter application. If you're a, pro a, twi a professional Twitter user, this is actually an interesting little device for you to, to think about. Um, and it all works pretty well. Let's pick a link out of here, go to the browser, you'll see how fast it is. I'm over Wi Fi here. Um, you'll also see the limitations of the browser because there's no flash. This is version 2.1 of Android. 2.2 .2 is apparently coming. So Twitter is working really well. Moving on, uh, WordPress application. Here you see an issue. <laughs> Some apps are locked into um, portrait mode. Fortunately, the WordPress application actually switches into um, portrait mode once it's up and running. Let's go to one of my blogs here. I can uh, look at the comments, edit them um, really fast, way faster than any phone I've got. Um, you can also do some editing of posts. It's getting the post from the server there. But the um, there's no what you see is what you get type editing. And it's fairly basic and you have to be a little bit careful about what you do here. Uh, it is possible to get yourself in trouble if you start mucking around and... Uh, um, you're expecting a what you see is what you get type experience so that's um, cancel editing the post yes right moving on here I said there's no location module in here uh, but side loading Google Maps does work if I try and go to my location though you'll see please enable enable a my location source in system settings so it doesn't have any idea of, of where you are you have to manually set your location uh, once you've done that though all the features seem to work pretty well you can see I've got the satellite image on here and it's working pretty quickly let's turn that off um, you can uh, zoom in and out and the search functions work so actually if I want to search for pizza um, there you go there's all the pizza places around here there's Pizza Hut and we can click through to the browser to get uh, fairly quickly um, more information so let's just go back back to the maps let's try another pizza place I want to show you another little problem here websites that are all flash end up like that <laughs> iPad owners will be familiar with that but anyway um, 
So most of the features of, of this are working, including uh, directions, as long as you set your start point. Um, I can probably do that fairly quickly. I'm, oh, okay, let's just choose one. And we'll do directions. And there you go. Okay. I put in the wrong start location, but direct directions are working. Navigation is not. And I have actually tried to sideload navigation. Um, maybe I can quickly show you what happens there, but maybe not. The Basically, the uh, compass is not in the system, so you're not going to get much in terms of navigation working. Where is navigation? Uh, there it is. So let's just open that. Show location settings. Um, there are no location settings, so you can't actually enable anything in the config. Right, back to the home page. Uh, what else have we got that I wanted to quickly show you? Google Mail. Um, okay, Google Mail through the browser. You know that there's no Gmail application on here, but uh, Mail through the browser is working pretty nicely, and um, no problems there with uh, uh, basic email functionality. And the IMAP editor is working. Sorry, the IMAP mail client is working as well. I haven't got that set up right now. Now, one other app. First, quite interesting to show is Adobe Photoshop Express. Um, let's see if I can grab a file. Um, what I need to do is probably f install a an image. How can I do that? All right, very quickly, we're going to try a little uh, experiment here. We're going to go to the SD card. Uh, which is here, we're going to go to, hopefully I've got some images on here, maybe not, there's one, let's view this image in the Toshiba image viewer, huh. I'm not sure that I actually have Could not load image. I'm not sure that I've actually got any images. One second, I'll put some images on. Okay, I've downloaded some uh, photos onto the device through an SD card. Actually, they're already on. They're on the SD card. I just had to enable a little uh, setting in Adobe. So let's uh, let's see what we can do then. Uh, edit photo, and of course we've got uh, we can adjust the exposure. So by click and drag you can adjust the exposure and it's pretty quick let's try cropping cropping should be fairly good we just grab a corner of that and crop down like that uh, what f other features have we got uh, soft focus <laughs> nope um, I've put some effects on it so let's turn that into a wall hole effect yeah let's let's do that one and um, can change the contrast so high contrast and bring it down again so that's kind of cool there's plenty of things you can do there and then you can save it and you should be able to post that. So what I'm going to do now, I should, if I refresh, appear as a new photo. There it is. So we load that in. Right click, upload. I'm connected to Facebook. Um, and I'm going to hit the upload on that one. That should go straight to, to my Facebook account. So pretty nice features on... Photoshop uh, Express there that's okay that's about it for this video just one more thing to show you and that's the number of apps that I actually have running in the background here there's a whole stack of them 110 meg still free so this 512 megs of RAM is uh, actually uh, pretty useful let's uh, leave you with one more app this is um, 
Shoutcast streaming app uh, works pretty nicely because the speakers on this are pretty good. So uh, I'll leave you with that. This is Chippy from CarryPad.com with the uh, Toshiba AC100. More on CarryPad.com. Check out the unboxing and a whole bunch of uh, videos that we've got there. <laughs>